Okay, YouTube. So I haven't been online for a while. Uh, new job, uh, new commitment, seven days a week at the moment. Bit enjoying it. Uh, whilst I was on a day off, my wife decided to uh, say to me, can you tidy up some of that junk you've got in your bedroom? So I thought, okay, well, I'll tidy up some of my junk and I've got in my bedroom. Some of this I'll be doing videos on because I haven't done the videos yet. Uh, but this is just a quick review, really, of what's under my bed and why. Uh, £175 crossbow, cheap one, not top of the range, uh, quite powerful one. It, it goes through the targets I've got at the moment. It's, uh, I've got my little 80, my modified 80 foot pound crossbow. It's, uh, yeah, this is more the prepper side of me than the bushcraft side of me showing this video today, I think. Uh, I've got this little, little bow here. Uh, it's, uh, okay, and some of you are going to say, oh yeah, but that's not going to be powerful enough. I think really this is, one, I'm using it to teach my daughter, and two, it's only used possibly one day, I hope not, in a way, as a deterrent. But yeah, we'll see. Couple of, I had a couple of uh, first aid kits, actually I've got first aid kits everywhere. Uh, my little fireman's axe was there. One, two, three sets of, no, uh, three sets of gloves. And uh, I've got me 34's axes there. Got me Galock, still work in progress this Galock. Uh, it is an original Galock. Uh, it was a right old rusty thing when I picked it up. Got it in original sheath. If anyone wants, a, an original sheath for a Galock. I've still got a couple left. They can come up clean. I've got a few knives here. Got this little necker that I got from the Bushcraft Blacksmith. I love that. I think it's great. That's uh, my ZP special. That I've got for uh, zero pence. That's, uh, that's, that's lovely, that is as well. This is a, a Joker knife. It's a Good sturdy knife, nice knife there. A strop that I, I found at a boot sale for a pound. Binoculars, monoculars. This knife here, I'm going to be doing a video on it later when I've completed it. This is my, uh, uh, it's a First World War German trench knife. Basically designed for killing. It was a right old rusty thing when I was given it. Uh, some tender loving cares getting it there. I'm st still working on the handle quite a bit. I've got to get some pins put in it yet. Uh, I've still got to get the shaping of the of the wood nice, and it's, uh, this was a lot of hard work as well because this part totally di that part there it totally disappeared, and this was all rust. So I've had to treat that and ready to colour it. Uh, my walking stick. I've done a video on that. It's got a spike that comes out at the end. Yeah, my knife sharpening kit. It's a lovely little knife sharpening kit. This one I got it off eBay. Uh, I'm not very good at knife sharpening, so I've got this. Now I'm now I've got some sharp knives. Yeah, I've got uh, a little fishing kit here. I've got a little fishing rod and reel somewhere else. Uh, I've got a crab line. You never know. A couple of fire. Here's me fire kit that I've done. I've got a video on that. Here, a bag of lines and stuff like that. But, uh, there's my BSA Air Master Air Rifle. Uh, cut the kit bags. That's uh, uh, my toy cooking set. I mean, this is just not all of it. This is just some of the stuff that I've got floating around. This is the stuff that was in boxes or bags underneath my bed, ready to be ready to move out if I if I have to. Uh, I've got my everyday carrying bag that's in front of my van at the moment. I've got another bag, another two bug out bags in the garage, ready to go. I've got all the sleeping bags, tenting equipment, and other stuff like that. And I'll show you some videos of other stuff I've got at a later date. And uh, it just seemed a shame not to do a video on all this stuff whilst it was out, whilst it was seeing the light of day. And it's, uh, because you don't always get to see the light of the day with some of these nowadays. That's. I mean, I do like my 34 axes, I must admit. I was very impressed when I bought these. And uh, that has actually got a belt loop on it as well. So it's, it sits there nice and sturdy. But, uh, yeah, that crossbow, going back to that, I think I paid, oh, I think I paid about £60 for that. And uh, the targets I've been using, 
uh, the bolts of Inca are going straight through and getting ruined. Uh, even went straight through me, straight through one target, straight through my garden gate, and across the car park. Uh, so I've got to sort out a bit of targeting system, I think, at the back of it there. I've got the pull string for it because it's a little bit too heavy to pull string. And it's, uh, so it's my air rifle. That one there is working. Another one, another one that's work in progress. That's, uh, yeah. All this stuff was literally just under my bed, under my bed, and I couldn't work out why my wife had the ache. Uh, I'm beginning to see why now. Uh, and uh, there is still more stuff, as I said. That's, a lot of it's in hiding. A lot of it's away. This little power point here, little power one here, I've got better ones just in video, and this little one there charged up will charge my iPhone twice. Silly little things like that I've got hanging around, for just in case I want them. Anyway, I'm going to get back to you a little bit later, and I uh, hope you enjoy this little video. Any comments, any uh, hellos, goodbyes, whatever, thanks very much. Alright, cheers, bye.